Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Coding Lifestyle for you. This is a fun tutorial. So what we do to send a message on Facebook? We click on this messenger button, open the chat, then click on this text field and write the text and then hit enter to send this message like this. In this video, we will see how we can send unlimited messages to our Facebook friends using Python code. Let's see the output first and then we will start building from scratch. So I'm just going to run this code. Here you can see the message will be sent automatically. It is sent to one of my Facebook friend. And now it is going to send to another one. And now to another one. And it will repeat unless we stop the code. Everything here is happening automatically. So let me stop the code. Let's start with that. Let me just close this browser and let me maximize this pie charm. Here we are going to write this code. So what you guys need to do, just go to this file, select new project, give a project folder name here, mini projects. I will be creating all my mini projects here Then select a new virtual environment. Choose your base interpreter. I will choose 3.9.2 Python version and then simply click on this create button and I want my new virtual environment to be created in a new window so I'll select new window the virtual environment will be created depending on the speed of your system so it is created now next thing is that you need to create a python file so right click on this project name select this python file give a name of python file so i will give the name as facebook automation and hit enter dot py extension you can see it is automatically added here now what we are going to do we are going to use a module which is py auto gui it is a python module which can automate your gui and it's used to control the mouse and keyboard with the help of programming code it is a cross-platform module that means it works on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. It is an external module and it is not installed by default. So we need to install it. So how can we install it? Just click on this terminal here. Just write pip install pyauto gui and hit enter. Loading has started. Once the downloading is over, we can simply import this module in our code here. So import keyword then module name pyautogui. So why we are importing this? So that we can access the methods which are present inside this pyautogui module. So let's start with the code. What we have to do? Let's first see how we can find the position of my mouse pointer. So for finding the position of my mouse pointer, we have a method in this pyautogui module which is known as position so let's use that pyautogui dot position and, and let's print the position if i want to find position of my mouse pointer here so let's run this code with the help of shortcut key alt plus shift plus f10 and hit enter you can see that this point location is from x distance it is at a distance of 1 2 3 1 and from y distance it is at 11 distance right so this way we can find the location of our pointer so let's divide this screen into half like this just simply drag this and let me just close this original project okay 
and let me open my web browser so guys open your web browser search for facebook you just have to log in to your facebook accounts once you log in you will be able to see this page here okay after that let me just drag it properly so that you can see the editor now what i want i want to get the x and y coordinates of this point this position of a pointer okay so let's run this code again next time if you want to run just use shift plus f10 and you guys can see the x coordinate is 6709 and the y coordinate is 240 okay so i want to click at that coordinate so once i will click on that coordinate i will be able to see messenger like this okay so for clicking i will use a pi auto gui method pi auto gui dot click method okay and here we need to pass x and y coordinates that where you want to click so the x and y coordinate is 709 and 240 for my screen comma 240 like this and if i run this code now shift plus f10 you can see it automatically clicked on that messenger box i want to click on this chat okay so once i click on this chat i will get this chat box so we want to get the coordinates of this point so let's find out we'll again print it to know the location so let me just comment this otherwise it will click that i only want to know the position so only one line let's put our mouse pointer here and just press shift plus f10 you can see we are getting x coordinate 693 and y coordinate 480 so I want to click on this position. So I'm going to write the same line pi auto gui dot click and where I want to click now 693 distance from x axis and 480 distance for from y axis like this. I also want to give some delay execution delay. So when this line clicks on this messenger button after few seconds this line should click on this chat right so for that what i will do i will simply give some execution delay with the help of time module so i need to import time module time okay so time dot sleep method and for how many seconds you want to delay the execution you have to mention that for example if i mention three so after three seconds this line will be executed okay let's check it so shift plus f10 you can see after three seconds it clicked on the chat and now the next thing is i want to click at this position okay i want to click on this position so let's find out the position of this mouse pointer here we'll do the same thing so let me just put these three statements to comment and let's run this code first bring your mouse pointer at this position and then run this code with the help of shift plus f10 you can see the x coordinate is 582 and the y coordinate is 1011 so let's use that again i want to click at that position so that our cursor starts blinking there so pi auto gui dot click and the coordinate is 582 comma 1011 like this okay. one more thing this line will help us to click on this button then we will have three seconds delay after that this line will help us to click on the chat box after that i want some delay so time dot sleep and here i will mention for two seconds after two seconds it will simply click at this position okay and after that i want some delay time dot sleep and i'll pass three or maybe two after two seconds i want to type the text inside this text area so for typing the text 
we have another method inside this pi auto GUI module. So let's use that pi auto GUI dot type write. This will help you to type anything inside text area. And let's type, sorry guys, this is a bot like this. After the text is typed here, I want to press enter key. Okay. So for that, what I'm going to write here, I'm going to use another method, pyotogui dot press, which will help us to press the enter key. So I will mention enter. After typing this text, I want to give some execution delay. So time dot sleep of two seconds. So after two seconds only, the enter key will be pressed. Okay, so the shortcut key to run the code is shift plus F10. You can see messenger bo You can see everything is happening automatically. The message got typed and it is sent. Right? Now, let's keep it on a loop so that it can be sent multiple times. Okay, so what I will do, I will use a loop here and let me just comment this print statement for now because I do not need this. What I will do, I will use a while loop, while true. So this code will be executed forever unless we stop the code from running. So tab to provide some indentation and let's run this code once more. So shift plus F10. You can see these sets of statement will keep on occurring again and again. Okay, and there is one issue right now that this bot is clicking only at the same position again and again. Okay, what I want after sending one message to one person, it should click on the next chat box and it should send to another person. So for that, what I will do, let me just stop this code from execution. Stop. So this is the stop button here. After closing it, what I will do, if you guys remember, this is the X and Y coordinate of clicking this message box. After three seconds, I want to click on the first chat. So this is the coordinate of our first chat, right? And after that, what I want, I want to click at this chat box. Once the message is sent to this person, I want to send message to this one. Okay. I will simply increment this Y coordinate. Okay. So the X coordinate will remain same. I only want to change the Y coordinate. So for changing the Y coordinate, what I will do. Once this code is executed. Once you clicked on this message box and the message is sent to this user. Again, the loop will run. Next time what I want, I want to click on this chat box. So for that, I will simply provide some increment in the Y value I and let's define this variable at the start. I will use I equals to zero initially. And after the message is sent to one person, after that, what I will do, I will increment the I value. Okay. I will increment the I value by hundred. Y by 100, you can use any value. You can see what is the change here from here to here in the Y coordinate. Okay, you can check the change here with the help of this position. So let's check it. Let me comment this code and let me uncomment this statement like this. And let me just provide indentation and run this code with the help of shift plus F10. Okay. So you can see since this statement is in a loop, so you will be able to see the coordinates at different positions. Okay. So I want to see the coordinate of this position. So you can see the Y coordinate here is 583 and here I use 480. So the difference is of almost hundred, right? So if we add hundred in the Y value, so the next time after adding 100, it will be at 578 or 580. 
then it will be 678 or 680 and same way it will go on so let me just stop execution i hope you understood so that is why i'm increasing the value by 100 and one more thing what i want once a message is sent to one person after that again this loop will run i want to give some delay in execution so next time when you will see it will click after few seconds so time dot sleep i will give delay of three seconds let's run this code and see so shift plus f10 clicked on the chat box then we are getting the chat the message is typed and it is sent now after three seconds again it clicked on the message button then on the chat and now the message is typed and it is sent so you can use this module to do google searching or open youtube videos or any websites if you guys have any ideas of using this pi auto gui let me know in the comment section i hope you guys have enjoyed do like and subscribe let me just stop this code from execution. Thank you for watching.